We're back here on the John Forcade Show and another one of our John Forcade specials this week. It's the Ford Holiday Sales Event. All 2015 F-150 XLTs, $11,250 total savings, or you can get up to $12,000 in total savings. Again, on the Ford Holiday Sales Event, all 2015 F-150 XLTs, $11,250 or $12,000. You can't find a better deal than right here at Veterans Ford. We're back here on the John 4K Show. Mike to take you along with John 4K, and this is our special segment where we break down players across the uh, college football world entering uh, the NFL and real soon. And our first guy, he's been one heck of a football player at Notre Dame, Jalen Smith, who's played both inside and outside linebacker for the Irish, 6'2", 255 pounds, just a junior, but I suspect that he will never see his senior season at Notre Dame. Already 283 tackles, three forced fumbles, four and a half quarterback sacks. Now that's deceiving a little bit because he's playing in the middle. John, he's a guy that can play both inside or on the outside. Uh, he's a guy I think is gonna be a top 12 pick when they're gonna run him to see what type of special athlete he is. He was the high school Butkus Award winner. Now he's up for the real Butkus Award winner in college football. I think he may end up being the top linebacker selected in this draft. Class. Yeah, I was going to say, Mike, if he's not the best top linebacker in the draft, he's one of the top three. Uh, there's no doubt a guy who can play both outside and the inside. Uh, you were right when you said you think he's better suited for the outside. I think he is. I think he can run. A uh, guy that can blitz quarterback, guy who can drop back with linebackers, take care of some of the running backs out the backfield. Uh, he's a versatile ball player who's played uh, for the Notre Dame this year, like you had made a comment earlier. They moved him inside because of some of these teams that did a lot of uh, up running away in, in from him. Tackles, yeah, they, they run, run in between away tackles. On so if he's on one side or the other, you can take off and run away from him. But in this situation, when he's playing that middle, yeah, you can't run away because he's got the ability to go right or left. But uh, the teams that some of these guys played, they 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 ran up the up the you know up the gut, and they want somebody who's as good as he is to be in the middle. And I think he's an outstanding player. He's a big, sturdy guy too. You're talking about he's pushing that 250 pound range, and he can run. Brian Kelly told me in the offseason that one of the most impressive things about him is, and while he can rush the quarterback, he plays the run well. Is that he's maybe the best cover linebacker he's ever coached. Hmm. Now you think about that in today's game. How difficult, we've seen Luke Keekley do yeah. it, but very few guys can, a Levante David does a great job too with Tampa Bay, to be able to cover people and also play the run well. Uh, you're looking at a superstar here in Jalen Smith. Our defensive lineman focus is DeForest Buckner from University of Oregon, 6'7", 310 pounds, decided to come back for his senior season, 225 tackles, 17 quarterback sacks. He's a guy that could play in, in a 3-4 alignment, or tackle in a 4-3. John, he's a big dude, and he comes to play with a mission each and every week. And I like that range of being a six foot seven defensive lineman. He disrupts the view of a quarterback. Now, you're a little over six foot tall. You got a guy who's six seven yep. and got that type of wingspan, you try throwing over him. Well, that's the big problem in, in, in pro football. I don't care if he's six foot, six foot five. When you got a six foot seven guy who's inside putting his hands up now just imagine six foot seven now he becomes seven four and uh, with those hands up and it's hard to throw but the thing is Mike he can bring it from the outside he can bring it from the inside and you made a comment uh, before we show talk about who we're going to honor today and you said uh, I'd hate to be an offensive lineman having to block against a guy who's six foot seven 310 pounds who moves like this Buckner does Buckner can play uh, both sides of football he brings the motor every time he brings the heat he just keeps playing for you uh, you know when's the last time you, you really say Oregon's got great defensive pass rushes usually they don't uh, because they don't play that style of football uh, up in the, in the pack 12 but this guy right here is going to be a top 12 pick or maybe top 15 pick. Yeah, you know, a lot of people bringing up about, well, you know, they haven't produced a lot of what they call core players. All I know is Indomitian Sue. Where did he come from? Right. You know, just look, he's a, he was a guy that went to school in, in Oregon, uh, high school-wise. So he's a guy that you can see from that area of the country. They've produced a lot of these bigger defensive linemen. Last year they had a first-round pick who went to the uh, San Francisco 49ers. I think that this particular pick is really good because of his versatility, his ability to run the field. We had one of the Oregon linebacker coaches come in to one of the camps and he just raved about 
he can run. That was his deal. He can run. You talking about a guy who's 300 pounds that can run, and a linebacker coach is telling you that you got a special player. And he's also from Hawaii. So he's a Hawaiian. A, a Hawaiian. So uh, you don't see too many Hawaiian guys uh, make it over and make it as as, as well as he his, as he has produced at Oregon. Uh, I don't care where you play football at; they'll find you. And these guys that play in the, and the problem on the, on, the, on the West Coast is we in the South and the East don't really get to see a lot of those guys play. And that's probably why people around here don't know of him. Yeah, it's just like when Andama Kinsu, you know, he was an Oregon kid who went to Nebraska. Nebraska. We didn't see a lot of him, and all of a sudden Both. he blossoms onto the scene. We'll be back with more of the John 4K Show, sponsored each week by Veterans Ford.